Here's Brad. Brad, uh, you're a gay. Yeah. I'm gonna only use the word gay as a noun for this entire video. See how Fine. That so, Tomodachi life. Tomodachi life. Can't be gay. Explain the situation. Sure, okay. So the home. short version of the situation is that Tomodachi Life is a series, I think this is the second game in the series, mm. um, that came out on the original DS in Japan. It's by the team who did WarioWare and Rhythm Heaven, which are two games I loved a lot. Yeah, um, And they decided, kind of shockingly, to bring this game to America. Yeah. They announced it with the weirdest... And also, we were obsessed with the trailer for yeah, like a week. I, uh, that's yeah. why you can't trust anything I say or feel right. about this game, is because I've watched the Tomodachi Life Nintendo Direct like 15 times. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm lukewarm. I'm, I'm I'm not gonna buy it. I considered it, but I decided not to. Yeah. So. Well, so the the issue that has sort of uh, cropped up is that in both the original game and in this version of the game, um, you all characters in it are straight automatically. Yeah. There are no same-sex relationships in it at all. Yeah. Um, and this isn't exactly the first time people have gotten upset about this in Nintendo games. I think. Like the Fire Emblem games, sort of yeah. had a similar thing where people. I there was like a lesbian couple, but maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe um, it's just there's like a kind of there's a one way uh, there's a one dark way. mage who's obsessed with your protagonist regardless of her gender. Oh, so I see. There, there are totally implied. Oh, uh, and also similarly in Pokemon X Y, there's Shauna and it sort of has like flirts a, with a female flirts protagonist. With a female yeah, yeah, totally. Well, so here's the difference I think between this situation and or or the perceived difference between yeah. this and like Fire Emblem. Um, in Fire Emblem, it can just be canonically true that all yeah. those characters are straight, even though they play a lot with, with yeah. hinting at, at otherwise. Same with Persona, actually. Mm. But I think where Tomodachi Life is setting people off is because the characters are ostensibly you and your friends. Yeah. Um, but they're not really, though. It's more like they're living dolls wearing your skin. <laughs> Like they're not really because yeah. they don't. Why make, don't they just market it that way? It's but <laughs> they don't make choices. They won't. They don't. Ha they don't make the choice. They kind of reflect your personality. So it's kind of different. It's. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's more like Sims. It is based but, on you and your friends. But here's the thing: the Sims in the year 2000 had gay relationships in it. But it's, you have more control over Sims too. Also. That's true. You did have a direct control mode, and I think that that's an interesting point that is kind of getting lost yeah. in this discussion. Right. So is that, I mean, I don't know if we've thoroughly recapped it, but basically, the situation is your characters can't be gay. People are mad that characters can't be gay, even if it's based on a person who is gay in real life. Right. And and um, to another thing that uh, that I think is important to note is that Nintendo has responded to this. In kind of a shitty way. It, yeah, but it wasn't the it's most shitty, articulate. but it's like it's like shitty. I, I saw some articles saying it's like shitty, but it's like hiding hatred. But I think it's really just. It just seems like dumb PR speak. Not mm -hmm. trying. Like there's no agenda. You described it as tone deaf, which I think yeah, is it exactly is tone deaf. Which I mean, which is weird because Nintendo's messaging has been so spot on, but they have been in they, other situations. Yeah, in other situations lately, and like they have been. Uh, I mean, I guess they didn't really respond to the Animal Crossing race thing, like not being able no. to. Um, but so the, I think that the, the fact that they're responding, that they're listening, is sort yeah. of progress in a way. Like yeah. the fact that they said, we are listening and we're taking this feedback seriously, is is a step in the right direction for a company who yeah. is usually... I mean, here's the thing. Like there, there are sort of a, a couple reasons why Tomodachi life as it exists today isn't going to change. One of those is that it comes out in less than a month. Yeah. Um, but another is, I think that that is just kind of an excuse for them to hide behind. Like, yeah. they can say, oh, so, it's too late for us to change it, the Japanese code base is the same, but if you look, like, they changed a lot of stuff from the Japanese version. They took out yeah. the sumo wrestling mini game and changed it to a football game. They changed enough that they could conceivably yeah. have done it, and saying that it comes out soon and they're using the Japanese code base is kind yeah. of just a nice excuse, like saying, so, yeah, they could, they, they can't change it now, so but would they So my problem with the have? idea of changing it is, mm -hmm. is, so you still can't control your characters, and unless you had like a sexuality button on the character, which, I mean, I'm gay, and I think that would be weird to have that in that kind of character. As a toggle? Like, yeah, it's, it, it's, it, I think it'd it would be, be clumsy, I guess. It would be clumsy, yeah. Like, it, if it was, if you were controlling a character and you could make those choices actively, that uh -huh. makes more sense, but a toggle is weird, or even a, a sl I don't know, it just seems like a weird, clumsy way to do AI characters, like I feel like in The Sims, you don't, there's no gay slider. You just like tell them to be, but like sort of the point of Tomodachi life is you don't know what they're gonna do, yeah. like, and it's surprising. And I think that's uh, so. It's like a complicated, like, because are people saying that? Because I think people are saying that Nintendo won't let you play as a gay character, but the reality is, your characters make choices that aren't your yeah. fault, or aren't your like you're not choosing what they do, and mm -hmm. then they, uh, so like so the alternate the alternative that they seem to be suggesting is that characters just sometimes are gay randomly or that there's a slider and both of those seem like the sometimes are gay seems fine but it seems like it'll just sort of come off as like comic relief which I, so, I feel people would be mad about that too you know that's the weird thing and I think that's something that 
so few of the people, ourselves included, in this conversation uh, have played Tomodachi Life. Yeah. One guy who has, Christian Nutt, uh, wrote a really awesome write-up on Gama Sutra about his experience and his husband's experience yeah. playing the game. And like, in the game, uh, his husband married I think the girl from the Big Bang Theory or something. Oh, really? And he was like, on the one hand, it's weird to see my straight me, or my gay me, who's been a gay me for the past eight years, get married to a woman. On the other hand, though, like we laughed when that happened. Yeah, because it's still all funny. the marriages, the thing about Tomodachi Life is that, like you said, and I think a lot of people are missing this, you're not in control of anything that happens. Yeah. So you met randomly married characters, and that's the joke. The joke is that you would marry a celebrity. And the, yeah. It would, it's going to, the marriages are used, according to Christian, as punchlines. I think people don't understand the game very well and and they but they like are immediately equating it to like you can't be gay like you can't marry a gay elf in in whatever like yeah. dragon age but, but it's not that at all it's these characters that are autonomous it's like it's like getting mad that an npc is is like that there's no gay npcs which i guess i could see somebody but it's like i don't know it it's not as clear cut to me as it would be if, if you just if like you could date characters actively and mm -hmm. then it wouldn't let that's, you date certain And ones. I think that's why I'm really sympathetic with an understanding of the frustrations people have is because yeah. from the outside looking in, it looks like a huge omission. It looks like a game where you are playing as yourself. Yeah. And um, if if that was what Tomodachi Life yeah. was, if it was a game about representation... Yeah, oh, and it's not. It's a game about dissonance between the real person and the thing. So, right. And I, like, that's the joke of every scene. Yeah, and I, I think looking at Nintendo's statement about uh, Tomodachi life is supposed to represent a fantastic reality that isn't our own. Yeah. That statement sounded really shitty before we had a better sense of what Tomodachi yeah. life I mean, was. I, honestly, I think it wouldn't be terrible if characters did randomly. Like, if characters, I, I think it would not be bad and it could be a solution to, to just a, allow a small percentage of characters, like male or male female, to hook up as. But I also think that. Maybe not as much. There might, there might have still been some backlash. Probably after the fact, people being like, "Oh, they're making a joke out of it," which they kind of, people like talked about that with like the super gay fighter game. And mm. I mean, I mean, because like they are, it is like a really silly, like it's like soap opera y the way yeah. the game looks. But I don't know. Maybe that is a solution. I, I just you personally ever, don't. I'm not bothered. That I mean, much. that's was kind of my next question. Like, have you ever personally been bothered that you weren't able to like make a gay choice in a game? Um. No, but I know people, a lot of gay guys who will play Animal Crossing and they'll just, like you can't actually date the animals in Animal Crossing right. anyway, but sometimes people will like pretend that they're going on dates. Like I, I know a lot of people who just in general pretend they're like dating a certain character in Animal yeah. Crossing and I know guys who've done that with, with like certain animal, like male animal characters and stuff and, it, and they, they do like, the dialogue is kind of funny. Um, I also think it's kind of weird because Nintendo is like siloed because they're so Japanese and like this is like such an American issue and it's like I think that some there's a lot of them not even thinking about this stuff when they are making the game originally and then it's like on the localization team's job and it's you know that's where it gets muddled I yeah think. I, on the one hand I think but no I haven't actually uh, ever been bothered by that I, I think on the one hand it's not a perfect excuse to yeah. be like there's a cultural difference like Gay marriage is not legally recognized in Japan, yeah. um, and obviously it's a different culture. But also, I don't think they get a pass for that. Yeah, like I know. you can't be like, oh, it's yeah. It, yeah. They have a long, you thorough history of culture. bigotry, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Like that doesn't make it okay. Yeah. But it does give you better insight into. Um, it seems when an American game company releases a game about you and your friends that doesn't have uh, homosexuality as an option, that would feel like a snub. When a Japanese company does it, it just it truly does come from a different. Place. Like I will say though that that I have played games where I'm forced to play as a straight character and there are there's like choices and I'm like I still get invested in the relationship and I still will, like actively pursue care because I feel like you're still role playing a person that's not you even if they look like you and and also it's just like I'm I'm not so not self aware that I'm expecting all media to cater to me even though it just historically doesn't and like sometimes economic like I'm not yeah. expecting like I'm not mad that there's no move like blockbuster movies with like main gay characters because like that just like I understand the economics behind that and like I can watch indie movies with gay main characters you yeah. know and I can play indie games with gay so I mean but it, but then again this is a small weird game that probably it wouldn't have been that off-putting but yeah and I and I think the I instinct for for representation is is totally uh, something that I can sympathize with. I, I get yeah. wanting that. And I also would like it if a game would let me marry Miyamoto. So, sure. So, uh, boycotting yeah. Tomodachi Life until I can marry Reggie yeah. in a video game. That is my official stance on the matter. Yeah. I don't Fair know. enough. <laughs> but there's a workaround where you can just make a me 
male or female, cool. and so change the gender. Reggie's head on a hot lady body, yeah. game of the year. Game Congratulations, of the year. Nintendo, you made it hotter somehow? <laughs> yeah. I don't, good hmm. job. Hmm. Thanks, I guess.